Hi, I'm Zane. So today I will share about online ordering using Genius Post Cloud Sync and so that your customer can order through your website. So log into the Genius Post Cloud Sync and then go to here and click online ordering. So from here, you can see this is an outlet, okay, and then you click on, on the store name, so you put in the name and then you put on your store URL. This one, all of this, you can customize it. So I will advise you, stick with your store name. And then put on your contact number and then your email. After you key in your outlet address, make sure you click in validate address. If you want to change in the future, hold the pin and you can move it around here. Then you can upload your logo and edit on your general info. All of this will show on the customer view. And then you can edit on your operating hour and then you can add on your operation hour as well. So make sure you turn on the menu display so it will show the item image in the menu. If you have some category you want to turn off, click it here. And then for example, my delivery I want a hidden, just click hidden. My fine dining set I can click hidden or disable. So you can play around and make sure you click save. After save, you click back. Then from here, if your menu item has a different pricing for your online ordering, so you can set your pricing level and you select the price. Then you can set like, for example, which account has the permission to approve the online ordering. For the delivery method, you can click on self-collect or delivery. You can set on the max distance, minimum order, free delivery. So you can set on your delivery price based on the distance and your different pricing. Other than that, you can turn on the pre-order setting. So for payment method, so far we have cash or the telephone order or you can turn on this one, online payment which is the payment gateway by eGHL. So, so far GHL has provided the e wallet such as the Boost, the MCash and etc. If you want to apply, you can contact to me and I help to submit the document and it's charged based on the transaction. So after you get the online payment, E GHL, so you can have your own merchant account, your merchant key and the payment type. This one I will suggest you to create a payment type and name it as E GHL. So go to Genius Post and then go to the payment type. Make sure you create an E GHL, you name it and then you select others. And make sure the setting, you turn on the rounding and click set and save. So that in the S reading report you can clearly know that which income are come from the cash and which are come from the eGHL. So back to the browser, you click save. So if your customer want to access to your store, make sure you copy this link and paste it in your social media or share it to your customer. So when the customer order, you will show it like this. So make sure this link, you keep it and you save it. If you want to print it out as a QR code, let your customer to scan, very simple. You copy it and then you search QR code monkey. Click on the first one, paste the link just now. And then you click create QR code. So you download it and you print it out and let your customer scan and then to take order without face to face. So let's back to the phone. If you're a customer, so when you log in this, they will see the menu differently. So what if I want to order the pizza? I click here to show the image. I click here to take order. If I want to order two, just click two. Customer can put their own remark and click add order. And then they can add some coffee. So you click on the I. From here, you can show the details. Just now you key in, you do the setting. Click close and you click on the card. So you're on the pay already. So the grand total and click next. So the ordering method is collection. And then you can click the contact, for example. And you click save. Payment type is cash. And then you click next. And after double check, it's confirmed already. You click check out. So your customer will receive it at here. The new order. Make sure the apps is always showing here and you click here. If you want to accept, just click accept. If you want to reject, you can click reject. So I click accept. I put 25 minutes and I click accept. Order accepted. 
So in your phone, it will show that your order has been accepted on what time, what date, and your order number, and you click close. So from here, you can always click on the check connection, restart connection, and retrieve miss order. So where you refer to the manage online order, very simple. Go to function, online order. Just now the customer has keyed in their name, right? So all of this will automatically update in the membership features. In the browser, I click check out. So we'll show here the new order. So what if I click dismiss? Then you can refer to the online order or you make a decision either for accept or reject. If you click reject and you put key in your reject reason. So you show it order rejected. That's all for today. Thank you.